after. Hello guys, welcome to the Fine Agile YouTube channel where we talk Agile, we talk Jira. It's the first video from our new Define Agile office. I have my microphone here because you guys said you want a better quality sound. Here you go. And uh, today we're recording a tutorial and this tutorial is about how to create a filter and then use this filter in a dashboard. So here we are. This is one of our projects, classic software project. And right now let's create a filter first and then let's create a dashboard. So we have filters, let's click on that. And I always click on advanced issue search. And here I like to always switch to jQuery, Jira query language, so JQL. And uh, now we need to create a filter. So let's create a filter with all the issues from, um, I don't know, the project DASD. So when the project equals D define agile service desk, and then let's click search. So this only shows me the issues from uh, project define agile service desk. I have the error here because I need a space. And then it's green, so make sure it's green. You can have any filters you want. You can have like by Apex or by issue types or by resolution, anything you want. I'm just showing you how to create a filter and then apply it. So with this, you can be able to do it with any filter. Now we need to save filter. And when we save it, we click on save as, and we give a filter a name. In this case, all issues from, all issues DASD. Let's say it like that, submit change the name so all issues DASD we can look at the details and the very important thing that when you create filters it can be only visible to you so if you want to share this dashboard to do anything I always recommend to edit permissions and instead of making private making it either by project or public we'll just make it public click add then click save Now we have filter that anyone can use. If we go to the details, we see it's public. So it's visible to everyone. And now let's go and create a dashboard gadget to use this filter. And the name is important. So let's just copy the name because we will need it. Let's go to dashboards and let's say create a dashboard. What the name want to give to our dashboard? Let's say DASD dashboard dashboard uh, this can be visible only to me or to anyone else let's say it's visible only to me safe here we are at the dashboard level and all we need to do here is to add a new gadget we click add a new gadget and there are filter counts for example let's add this gadget there are a bunch of gadgets you can say load all gadgets and they'll show you all of them uh, let's say which issue statistics was a real good one. So let's add this one as well. So now let's close and it says no filter or project selected. You can select the whole project or you can select filter. Remember we copy paste the name. So here we go. Here's our filter. And we can use this filter to see statistics on the issues that the filter selected. So for example, we want to see by assignee type or we want to see issue type, let's say here, search statistic type, issue type. Update every 15 minutes, save. So now it showed us how many of them are with a certain issue types. Let's go and edit this. It says show resolved issue statistics. So this is only non-resolved one, but I want to show all of them. In the filter, I always say yes, because I care about what filter finds. So let's uh, click save. And here you go. So uh, there are 33% of uh, this type, question type, 33% of email requests, and 33% of uh, the other one and the total is 100 so this is a breakdown 
pretty neat we did it with a filter here's another one filter counts so let's add the filter again all issues DASD and then we can create different columns I guess so we have this filter so what do we say what's the priority highest let's check what it will give us how many of them are priority highest none of them so let's try something else what about status in progress how many of them are in progress versus how many of them are resolved let's do that pretty neat let's click save one of them is resolved in progress and zero are resolved so now let's add another one with the status closed maybe some of them are closed who knows so status resolved status done actually i think is the right one maybe not i don't know check it out yeah one is in progress and two is done so at a glance you can see okay this is all my issue types i don't know if it's useful or not but you can configure it to show you other stuff for example we can have status what status are they so one of them is in progress and 33 percent in progress 67 is done so it's similar to this and you can do it any way you want you can drag and drop it and this is how you can use filter in a dashboard it very is very very helpful if you create a nice filter where you can filter stuff out you can see at the glance a lot of very very neat things hope it helps if you're confused and you need to create filters that are hard you can book a consultation with me the link is down below you go to calendly link and you book a station with me and for an hour or you can book multiple of them we go and i teach you all jira agile whatever you need so maybe it's a good opportunity for you go check it out if you want to learn jira in one day uh, there's a link below you can go and get the course it's very very cheap right now it's a huge discount so make sure you get that if you want to learn jira by yourself but here it is guys now you know how to do it and if you have any more questions put them in the comments down below it is anatoly and i'm always stoked to show you something cool i'll see you next one bye bye